11 different types of horses, what types of horses are there in the world, and what unique traits differentiate them. Get answers to these questions and more in our detailed horse breeds article. Despite there being over 350 horse breeds and ponies around the world, a recent study shows that all modern horses are descendants of two main types of horses. These include the Turkoman horse, now extinct, and the Arabian horse. Horses have been around for over 160,000, with their domestication dating back to around 6,000 ago in Eurasia. For many years, these animals have been used for transport and battle. However, in recent times, horses are reared as amusement animals being used for racing competitions, hunting, riding, or just as pets. Horses can be classified into two main categories, horses and ponies. Horses under 56.8 inches tall are mostly referred to as ponies. But before we get into each of these types, let's see why everyone loves horses. Horses have a great capacity to learn and remember things. You can train them not to overreact to undangerous things and to only react when necessary. Horses are great herd animals. To thrive in a herd, they need to read the emotions of other horses and interpret them well. An untrained eye may fail to note any interaction, but you will appreciate that their interactions are different and rich if you are keen enough. Similarly, horses read and bond with individuals who treat them nicely. They treat these people as their leader or herd members. The capability to form an emotional bond is one of the major things that appeal to most horse owners and those who work with them. Horses are some of the most beautiful animals. You ride them because you both respect each other and have a mutual bond. Although they're big animals, they're pretty gentle and kind. Arabian horses are the earliest breed of horses known to humans. It is usually considered to be the first horse breed humans domesticated, and it's more than 5,000 years old. Though its origin is in the Middle East, this purebred horse is spread across the world. The breed has earned a permanent place in many equestrians because of their undeniable beauty work ethic, intelligence, and stamina. They shine in a wide range of disciplines. These horses come in different temperaments, colors, and sizes, just like a bag of marbles. Most people love the breed because of the following reasons. Appaloosa is a spotted horse that has been many people's favorite for centuries. It's very popular in America. Apart from their undeniable beauty, Appaloosa is a loyal, gentle, friendly companion. They are always ready and eager to please and are a great breed for equestrians. The Naypers people reproduced the Appaloosa for battle, hunting, and transport. Today's Appaloosa is still a multi-talented horse. It's used for long-distance trail riding, rodeo events, working cattle, English and Western riding sports, etc. It's a very gentle and friendly horse, which makes it an enjoyable, friendly, and rewarding companion. This is among the few types of horses that capture the hearts of both the novice and expert equestrians in equal measure. American quarter horses are not only agile, but they are also docile and athletic. These horses were originally developed from a crossbreed of the Native American Chickasaw, and the English thoroughbreds in the 1600s. American Quarter Horse is typically the most popular horse breed in the U.S., with around 3 million living horses. These horses excel both in trail and show ring events, and it can outrun most other horse breeds, with speeds topping 55 miles per hour. Thoroughbred horses are popular as racehorses, but can perform other tasks such as fox hunting, polo, jumping, dressage, and combined training. Thoroughbreds fall under hot-blooded horses, meaning they're athletic, intelligent, bold, and spirited. Its origin is England as a crossbreed of native mirrors with imported Arabian, Turkoman, and Barb stallions. Thoroughbred horses were first imported to North America in the 1730s and are currently spread throughout the globe. A pony is a beautiful horse popular for its stature. They're less intimidating, 
so they are a top choice for novice horse riders. They come in several different breeds and were initially developed as landrace to withstand harsh environmental conditions. In comparison to other horse breeds, they have wider barrels, shorter legs, shorter heads, and thicker necks. Some pony breeds such as Hackney Pony are used for driving only, while others such as Connemara and Australian Pony are only used for riding. Welsh Pony is used for both driving and riding. Ponies are friendly and intelligent, but can also be cunning or stubborn. They are ideal for children who want to learn how to ride a horse. Adults can also ride bigger ponies because they are pretty strong even with their small size. People unfamiliar with horses might confuse a pony with a young horse due to its small size. Draft horses were popular many years ago for doing heavy work such as pulling heavy loads. They were instrumental in battles as armies used them to carry heavily armored soldiers. They were also used on farms because of their impressive strength and size. Though tractors replaced them on the farm, you can still see people riding them, pulling a cart, or still helping on the farm. Draft horses have manes and thick coats that allow them to withstand cold weather. They are the largest and tallest horses and are not easily frightened. In the horse world, the term cold-blooded, warm-blooded, and hot-blooded are used to classify a horse's origin, size, and temperament. Warm-blooded horses are famous in Olympic sports like dressage. Many European horse breeders breed warm bloods for competition. Warm blood horses are a cross between a cold and a hot-blooded horse. The origin of warm bloods is in Europe. Carriage horses, war horses, were bred with thoroughbreds and Arabians. The emerging warm blood horses were bigger than the hot bloods, but more refined than cold bloods. Tennessee Walker is best known for its even temperament and peculiar running walk. The horse came into being in the 18th century in the southern USA. It's still popular today due to its smooth gait and uneven disposition. Tennessee walkers were bred to help offer a relatively comfortable way to cover long distances on horseback throughout the day. Course plantation managers, circuit preachers, and country doctors appreciated their all-day endurance and smooth gait. Their special signature gait in the running walk enables them to move faster, with no jolting, as there's always one foot touching the ground every time. Today's Tennessee walking horse is elegant, refined, and solidly built. It's a very tall horse with a long neck and tiny, beautifully placed ears. Andalusian horses have a superb temperament. They are just smart. They are also brave, sensitive, docile, and kind. Their desire to learn and implement new things is unmatched. This horse breeds easily adapt to changes in new environments without much stress. Since these horse types are obedient, responsive, and very cooperative, they are easy to train and learn quickly. Nonetheless, many equestrians recommend handling these breeds only if you have considerable experience working with other horses. This is because they are pretty fast, agile, and heavily built. Originally, Andalusian horses were used for driving, bullfighting, classical dressage, and stock horses. Today's Andalusians are used for driving, show jumping, and dressage. You can also see them in movies, particularly fantasy epics and historical pictures. Paint horses are a versatile breed, and you can see them in almost every equine sport. You will see them jumping, barrel racing, combined driving, working cattle cross-country events, etc. Paint horses come in various colors and markings, Although there are only three main patterns, these include the Tobiano, Tavero, and Avero patterns. Paint horses are colorful, strong, and their bodies are well balanced. They are ideal for riders of any experience level, and they shine in multiple equestrian sports or as working horses.